The all new mode Fortnite Reload is here, bringing back Tilted Towers, Pleasant Park, Retail Row, Little Loot Lake, Sandy Sheets and Lazy Laps. Oh my gosh, the coming months are going to be so fun. We needed this so badly, this season's been so bad. <laughs> so in today's video, I've caught you guys. I'm going to be covering the very best settings for Fortnite Reload in today's video that I'm going to be using going into Fortnite Reload this season. And by popular request, I'm also going to be showcasing my binds within this video. I don't know if you guys want to see that. These settings are going to ensure that your aiming is immaculate, your building is impeccable and your editing is flawless okay guys we're gonna start off with the controller binds here and i'm actually gonna put a time code on the screen to skip ahead if you don't want to see my controller binds and you just want to get to the controller settings which is going to include the sensitivities the dead zones and things like that if you would like to skip ahead time code is on screen right now but if you do want to stay here are my controller binds that i'm gonna be using in fortnite reload for this season like the video and subscribe within the next five seconds if you brush your teeth this morning. If you're not liking the video right now, you're literally gross. <laughs> I'm gonna pop onto PlayStation 5 controller settings and I'm gonna show you right now. And for the Xbox players, it's gonna be parallel to PlayStation, obviously, but I will be showing you in my hand cam what button is which. So we're gonna go through them moderately, slowly, so you guys have enough time to copy them down. But the jump is X, which is A. Crouch is the right stick clicked in, which is obviously the right stick clicked in. Sprint is the left stick clicked in, which is obviously the left stick clicked in. Fire is RT or R2. Target is LT or L2. Reload is um, square, which is X. Next weapon, next weapon is R1, which is RB. Previous weapon is L1, which is LB. Toggle, toggle harvest tool or carry is the touchpad which is this little button here it's got the two squares on it as you guys can see um, place marker slash what comes is left on the d-pad um, moving further down so we're in the building now switch mode doesn't have that sprint no change material is left on the d-pad again rotate slash repair is um not used trap equip slash pick up slash place or use is square again which is x wall is r2 which is rt floor is r1 which is rb stairs is l2 which is lt and roof is l1 which is lt uh, which is lb and toggle map is right on the d-pad and toggle inventory is up on the d-pad now give me a couple seconds to copy this down switch mode as circle which is b and scroll all the way down and we'll finally get to edit which is for select r2 which is rt confirm which is triangle which is actually y reset as left stick clicked it uh, right stick clicked in toggle inventory is up on the d-pad and edit building as triangle which is y once again i'll give you a couple seconds to copy this down just in case go well, for a little water break now you've been copying the settings down amazingly but there's something you guys have to do to make sure the settings work correctly and that's to go back to the Fortnite item shop and as you can see the code reset and that is to put in code base that's code b-a-y double z and then boom the settings will work correctly for you guys okay guys i'm gonna go through them rather slowly to make sure you guys have enough time to copy them down and at the end of each segment i'm gonna pause to make sure you guys have enough time to copy these settings down without having to pause the video because there's nothing worse than when you guys have to comment saying base you went too fast so i'm gonna copy the notepad from the settings to my left here where i've copied them down on my notepad and you guys are going to copy them alongside me okay let's begin controller auto run as on build a mutely build a pro as off edit total time at 0.100 seconds we can drop it down to that now for slide all time we have it at 0.100 seconds also with the reset camera access as pitch we want the reset camera time at 0.1 seconds also with vibration as off now I'll give you a couple seconds to cover this down now in today's video you may hear me say he has it on this he has it on that now if you're new to the channel basically what i usually do is i copy down other people's settings and test them in my video so if you would like to see that make sure to subscribe and also like the video but the reason i keep saying he is because it's a habit because obviously usually when i record the settings part of this video i say he's got it on because i'm usually referring to a person's settings that i used but these settings are actually my settings that i actually made by merging all the best parts of professional player settings together skip over the quick weapon mode as we don't want to use this for the sensitivity options guys you want the build mode sensitivity multiplier on 
1.8 times and the edit mode sensitivity multiplier on 1.8 times with these advanced options as on i'll give you a couple seconds to copy this down as well if these settings do go on to help you i really would appreciate it if you could use code base and also like the video and subscribe i really would appreciate that thank you ever so much we're on our ways with many subscribers we're super close now so thank you ever so much if you have subscribed already or if you are thinking of subscribing thank you okay now that is done for the advanced look sensitivity he has not he we i don't say what there it is there's the he has it on he doesn't have it on anything because these are my settings so for the horizontal speed we have on 47 percent and for the vertical speed we have it on 57 percent with the turning horizontal boost at zero percent and the turning vertical boost on zero percent also with a two turning a boost ramp time at zero seconds with instant boost when building as on now give me a couple seconds to copy this down as well we're gonna go for a little water break Once that's done, you are good to go. For the aim down sight sensitivity, guys, we want it on, well, we want the horizontal speed on 20%, I believe, and the vertical speed on 20%. Let me quickly just check that. Just double check, it'll take me two seconds. We're gonna scroll down 20%. Yeah, for the horizontal boost, we have it on 0% here. Oh, I messed up there, hold on, two seconds. Horizontal boost, 0%. And for the vertical boost, we also want it on 0%. And for the ADS turning boost ramp time, we want it on at 0 seconds. Now, I'll give you a couple seconds to copy this down. As well, guys. Now, you've been copying the settings down amazingly, but there's something you guys have to do to make sure the settings work correctly. And that's to go back to the Fortnite item shop. And as you can see, the code reset. And that is to put in code BASE. That is code B-A-Y-Z. And then, boom, the settings will work correctly for you guys. I see some people commenting on my videos and my shorts and always wondering why I go, well, what basically why I always look at the camera from this angle and not like that. But I can do that, there's no problem. But as you can see that the microphone kind of blocks my face for one and it doesn't pick up my voice as well. So that's why I speak like this and not like this. There's no reason other than that, basically. It makes no difference. But, um, yeah. So, if you're one of those people that comment that, that's the reason why. I respond to your comments with that reasoning anyway. It's pretty self-explanatory. The mic's here. The mic's not here. Type thing. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You know? For the look dampening time, we have it on zero seconds. For the aim to strength, we have it on 100%. But for the look in the curve, now this is a very controversial one that I'm going to have to explain to you guys because some of you guys are not going to believe what I'm going to say. So, if you're a linear settings player, these settings are actually exponential. Now, before you click off the video all angry, try them out. Do you know why I'm going to say try them out? Because they're very, 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 they feel very similar to linear settings. I know that doesn't make sense, but they do. Because they're kind of slowish, and because they're very precise instead of just like flying all over the screen which traditional exponential settings usually are like the very fast pace usually exponential settings these are definitely a lot more controlled like linear settings so give them a shot because they are the most linear settings they're the most linear feeling exponential settings you'll ever try okay so if you if you are usually a linear player just give them a shot if you could go on them for 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 25 minutes for 25 give them a shot for 25 to 35 minutes if you're a linear player and if you can't get used to them then i'm sorry but they are super similar to linear settings now i tried day settings one time and compared them to read settings and um basically i could basically not tell the difference there was a bit of a difference but like it was so minuscule because their actual settings were different but um yeah the linear and exponential it wasn't like oh these are linear these are exponential it was like it was just about the speed literally so there's yeah these are the most linear exponential settings you're ever going to use for the uh control of the zones we want the left stick dead zone on five percent and the right stick dead zone on 
5%. Now, you've been copying the settings down amazingly, but there's something you guys have to do to make sure the settings work correctly. And that's to go back to the Fortnite item shop. And as you can see, the code to reset. And that is to put in code BASE. That's code B-A-Y-Z. And then booting the settings will work correctly for you guys. So if you want the settings to work correctly, you guys have to put code BASE in. But in all seriousness, guys, I do appreciate bringing these settings videos on a weekly basis to make you a best player in Fortnite Battle Royale. So hopefully get your time real rank. If you haven't already, then use code BASE to go away to support me. Thank you ever so much if you use my code. I heard it doubles your aim assist as well.